What do you get when you cross a snowman with a vampire? Frostbite. Anyways, welcome back to episode 9, my friends and my familia, or whatever you want to call it. I just got done hunting down these, well one, well two actually, technically three, but one of them isn't on this blood altar. So we killed Leandra the Shadow Priestess, okay, she gave us the Spectral Assassin, we unlocked the Jewel Crafting Table. Scourge Stone, the Skeleton Priest, and then the Scourge Pendant, which will be a little upgrade for us. Then I went ahead and killed this lady, which gave us the Spectral Garden, and then we Guardian, and then we have the Gem Cutting Table, and then the Siege Golem Stone, as well as the regular gems. So they're pretty easy. Um, I'm going to put their fights in the beginning of the video, so you've probably already seen them. But yeah, that's what we've done so far. Man, we are running out of room, but we got this nice stone cutting table. I'm going to go ahead and put it right there. We also have the Jewel Crafter, which we can we can build real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the glass for that. Is that gonna be enough glass? I hope I hope it is. And then the Greater Blood Essence, which I think we have some. Yes, we do. We've been brewing them up for this reason. And then, no, we need two more pieces of glass. I think, hopefully, maybe in the Devour. Nada. Okay, so we gotta get two more pieces of glass. All right, we made some more glass. Oops. Let's see. Oh, wow, this is big. I'm guessing, I guess we we'll put it right there. We are cluttered, but it, you know, it's kind of like a nice, nice little clutter. So jewel crafting table. This is where we can make all of our nice amulets. So we have the ruby, the emerald. So physical power. Okay, cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We have, we can make all this stuff. Actually not the, we need four more scourge stones, I think. Dust watcher's ring. We could probably upgrade to that one which will give us just more spell power, which I like, which I like, but that will be in re in cost of... Actually, you know what? This one would be nice, the Emerald Necklace. So let's um let's look for more score stones, but that's going to be like the next upgrade to put us right over 50 gear level because we do have our Scorch Stones in here. You aren't supposed to be in there, sir. Our Scorch Stones in here, we only have four. I'll put those in here, and I'll sort those back out. Um, but yeah, we got a whole bunch of junk in here. I gotta organize my stuff. Um, and I'll put that guy back in there. But we need Scourge Stones. So I think now that we killed one of the, um, the bosses, we now have the ability to summon these priests. Yeah, these, um, Skeleton Priests, which have a chance of dropping the Scourge Stones. So we may farm those. There's also the Banshee. Ooh. Horse Stone and Grave Dust. It's probably like a better one. Um, but Sunflower, yeah, we have we have all that kind of stuff. So I may just spawn uh, make more tombs in this area and then we'll go from there. You can also make Scourge Stones by with four Grave Dust, four Glass, and a Whetstone. So I can actually make a couple of those. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. I want to keep a couple of that just in case. And then, what did I, and then glass. And I know I have glass all right over here. So let's put in, boom, boom, boom. I know I only need one of those. So that'll take two minutes. So four, four. 
Let's just put it in that. I know that'll only make us two, but I can keep making glass over here. If I want to. Boom. Yeah, I'll put glass over here. I'm making iron in this one, but that is fine. I can wait a little bit on the iron because the sword stone is a little bit more important right now. So I'll do that. And I'll put these over here. Guys, always check these bookcases because you find a lot of stuff pertaining to research. We got another upgrade, Mercer's Hall of Fang Leggings, so that's going to give us yet another upgrade. Also, in case you're running, I went from 49 gear level to 50 gear level because of, if you look at number two, it says increases primary attack speed and gain one gear level. So I was confused for a minute. I'm like, wait, what happened? Why am I level 50 and not 49 like I was before? It's because... Uh, the um the brute blood type so yeah that'll do it we got a ruby pendant book here that's gonna be another upgrade i believe because we are collecting all the other ones and i am just guys honestly just mass murdering this town i know it sounds bad but they are dropping some good stuff i need these scrolls to get some level up i'm also looking for a decent worker that's like ideally above like 80 percent because i want to i want to turn one into a prisoner so that's what we're looking for but we're just kind of grinding we got ourselves a 100 percent brute if i don't kill him this is going to be huge if i'm able to get him i'm gonna turn on fire nice we got him we got him yes we did and we are going to go immediately home with this guy so if i can catch myself a horse that would be great where am i so I just go down right in there. Okay, perfect. Awesome. That's huge. 100% brute. That's very good for us. I'm going to try to stick to the... This is what I came out here for. So get some scrolls and that kind of stuff. We got lots of scrolls. 37. Perfect. 100%. Ooh, a horse. Okay. Alrighty. And we are back after, I want to say, about an hour of just grinding. We picked up a couple research books. We got a lot of scrolls. So let's go ahead... We got the rest of our Merciless Hollow Fang gear. That's actually huge for us. And we already have a Ruby Pendant. So we can go ahead and put that in the Devourer. Which I moved right over here. Boom. That's going to give us some scrolls. We also have 86 scrolls. And that... Oops, not that one. Is going to help us discover the Crypt Floor. Interesting. So that floor sections that apply bonuses to Crypt Structures. Cool brain. All right, so we're at that point in this game where it's actually going to start mattering whether we go physical attack damage or magic attack damage because we can start like specializing our gear. For example, at this dual crafting table, we have the ruby, which is spell tower, physical power, and physical resistance. We have spell power, max health, movement speed, and then we have spell sp spell power and physical critical strike chance. I'm thinking I want to go spell power, max health, and movement speed at least for now. But first, we're going to go ahead and we got to make that one. And then we're going to go into the emeralds. We need a scorch pendant and then regular emeralds. So we have that. We have just enough. Perfect. I'm also smelting up some iron so I can make the rest of our um, hollow fang leggings. And we'll be leveled up. So we got another upgrade. We're going for the merciless hollow fang leggings. That is going to give us bada bing, bada boom. We are at 53 still. Yes, we're at 53. Not too sure. Six, six. We have Merciless. Next, we need to go for the um, the gloves. Oh, that's right. Um, I'm not a brute anymore. Uh, so I'm minus one. That makes sense. So next, we have the Hollow Fang gloves. But we need to wait for our iron to finish up smelting. And I think we have this finished. Yep, perfect. So we have the pendant. And now we have the emerald necklace. Yeah, I think I'm going to go movement, max health and movement speed just because movement speed, especially solo, is just super important. So bada bing, bada boom, and then nice. So I can actually, can I salvage, salvage that? Yeah, I'm going to salvage that, put that over here, and then the muncher muncher. Boom, that's going to give us some good stuff. We have one extra scourge stone left over. But our, we are at 59 now. Wow, that actually gave us a huge boost. 18 gear level. Wow. Yeah, that's actually huge. That gave us such a huge boost. So. Looks like some guy left his box out of here. Um, So I guess I'm just going <laughs> to steal all this stuff. Recycle a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, Yeah, I mean, 
couple containers out of here. It looks like his. Oh, yeah, his base. Ooh, yeah, look at the map. You see his base is fully destroyed. So if I can break this wall. This is a small base. Yeah, I can, I can actually destroy this fairly quick because it's just wood. There we go. And then I can go here. <laughs> it's always good running on an abandoned base because I'm going to get some loot out of this, I'm assuming. Probably not a lot because it's low level. But if I go ahead and destroy that, all this stuff should appear. Sorry, Witch Paw. Better luck next time. Yeah, I don't need that. There was nothing in that one. Okay, so there really wasn't much for me, but I guess it was worth a try. What about this guy? And drag him. So, all right. Sorry, dude. Better luck next time. So we found our next victim, which is Frostmall, the Mountain Terror. Oh, sorry. Don't kill me. Ah, yes. Am I invincible by doing that? I'll thank the Lord. Oh my gosh. That was brutal, guys. Finally. Okay. I know. I'm happy. I'm okay. I died. I'm okay. I died. Whew. That guy was a pain in the butt. But I did find this container on the ground in that area that this guy just kind of left. And it, and it was like a bag or something. So I could open it. Um, We have a lot of research that we can use. A silver resistant bruise. We have the gravel path, all that kind of good stuff. And then we have the merciless night stalker gloves, which we already have. And we already have the water well. So we can go ahead and put these in the devourer. Bada bing. Bada boom. And hopefully that will give us what we need. That's going to give us paper. And then that'll give us paper as well. So we need to unlock the paper press. Okay. And that's going to be in the study. Um, because we just killed this guy who gave us the ability to unlock the scroll. Um, this guy right over here. So now we can use um, the scroll, but we need a paper press. And the paper press is in the study and we don't have it. And the only way we can get it is just by either hunting scrolls or getting lucky on the research. So I'm go going to go farm for that right now. And I'll catch you guys back when we have enough to unlock a few more researches. Let's see. Do I have... Yes, I have enough to unlock the regular research desk, which will give us the enchanted brew, which increases spell power. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the flippity side. So we did some farming, picked up 100 scrolls. She got a lot. We just went up to the villages up north and we also got this crypt floor, which I think we may already have. If I remember correctly, um, yeah, clip flooring. So we already have that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the devourer. And then let's go over here and let's grab some research. Let's hope we get the paper press, guys. Let's hope for it. Chevron parquet, discriminant parquet. I guess this is... Uh, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at? What the heck am I looking at? Is that something over here? I don't think so. Huh. Okay. I don't know. That's maybe he's right there. And then let's discover one more. Wrangler's Potion. Okay. Consumables. Wrangler's Potion. I want to know what that... Chevron Parquet thing was. I'm not too sure. Didn't really... I don't know. Let me know if I'm missing something. Because <laughs> I, I don't think that's over here. Because it's just different. Um, but no paper press, unfortunately. I'm hoping 
but we did unlock the Wrangler's Push. Push that increases your movement speed. Ooh, when mounted by 15 seconds. Interesting. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we made it back home with another run. This one was actually quite successful, if you can see. We got over 200 new scrolls. We got a lot of research books, a couple new ones. So let's go ahead and unlock those. We have the Merciless Iron Slasher. So there's an upgrade right there. We have the Amethyst Pendant. And then we have the cordial wall panels. We have the assortment of colored windows. And that is it for that. Anything on the research? Yep, we got actually nothing. So all these are repeat. So we can go ahead and throw those inside of the... Yeah, we can throw all those. Probably have to take some of this stuff out. Yeah. <clears throat> Savaging off and legs. Okay. Yep, that'll give us 50 more of those. Nice. Perfect. So let's go over here into the study. Now let's, guys, let's pray to the paper press gods. Do we unlock paper press this time around? Garlic resistant potion. And sapphire pendant. Ooh, okay. I mean, not bad. Not bad. We are unlocking all the pendants, which is pretty nice. Let's see if... Ooh, we got another unlock here, which is awesome. Oh, hooray to the Lord. Oh, I thought that was it, but it's not. Fine dining table collection. Okay, interesting, interesting. We got a lot of new things, new things. A lot of cosmetic things that I don't really care too much about. But let's go see what the, um, the pendant looks like. That's going to be over into, not that one. It's going to be over here. So we got the Sapphire Pendant, which is Spell Power and Spell Critical Strike Chance. Interesting. I am going more of a spell build, so that might be something we can look at. We have a whole bunch of stuff over here, so I'm going to just go ahead and sort everything. I'm going to start to get more storage space here. And put all that stuff in there. But yeah, so we'll keep doing this until we get the paper press, guys, because that's what we're looking for. Oh, also, we ended up killing two werewolves we got one exquisite heart we got this um pristine hide so that's actually pretty oh crap i didn't mean to do that <laughs> but that's actually exactly what we wanted to kind of progress forward i don't necessarily know what we need it for yet but two werewolves got got them killed Alrighty, we are back with a another round of scrolly woolies we also picked up the merciless iron slashers so that's going to be another upgrade for these iron slashers so that is a very good very good so let's go here we will oh looks like we already have we just haven't made them yet so cool 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 um research random one and go merciless iron sword so we can also make that one as well I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the devourer. And then that is going to be that. That's gonna give us some more scrolls. We need 50 more. We're going to need, okay, yep. I need 35 more. And then that'll give us another research. Oh, another round, another dollar. I got 125 this time. Please, please. Stone, stone with attached bed, stone with attached restraints, prison walls. Okay. We got the prison walls. Interesting. Um, What else did we get? I don't know. Let's check our thingy here. What is this? Yeah, we're unlocking all these floors. We're unlocking these walls, these wallpapers. Here, yeah, this is what we... Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's cool for a prison. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I might turn that over up here on the um the hill where our prison actually is. So cool. All right, we'll keep grinding away. Oh, we are back, man. This is a grind. I swear. I don't know what else to do for this stinking. We got to, to a couple new. Uh, we got the merciless iron crossbow actually. So that's actually a pretty good upgrade. We are getting all the merciless stuff too. So I'm thinking if we go here, bada boom, granite statue. Blah, blah blah misty necklace so we unlocked all of the necklaces so far i could be wrong this could not be the way the um let's go what is that to spell parity spell power and ability cooldown interesting 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 so let's check the blood press real quick not the blood press but the blood altar 
because I could be wrong on so this unlocks the anvil this unlocks the so the Athenaeum unlocks to uncover new technology and items that may be what we need to get the the uh, paper press so I may be doing this whole thing wrong but so we'll keep grinding at it so but I'm gonna call it there um, that's gonna be the end of this episode guys I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time peace